Hello everyone, welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is Recycling Perovskite Solar Cells. This topic relates to science and technology. Recently, a study introduced a water-based method to recycle perovskite solar panels, eliminating the need for toxic solvents like dimethylformamide. This breakthrough is significant for improving the sustainability and environmental impact of solar energy technologies particularly perovskite photovoltaics, PVs. Before moving further, an important announcement. The next offline batch of the IASGS Foundation course, Prelims plus Mains, is starting soon at Drishti IAS, Noida. The English medium batch will begin on 7th May at 8 a.m. and the Hindi medium batch will start on 29th April at 6 p.m. For more details, contact 8750188. 87501. Now let's discuss about the water-based method. Traditionally, recycling these cells involved harmful organic solvents like dimethylformamide, making the process even more hazardous. Using a water-based recycling solution, scientists were able to degrade and recycle used perovskite crystals, regenerating high-quality material for reuse in solar panels. The process uses sodium acetate, to extract lead safely, while sodium iodide and hypophosphorus acid help regenerate perovskite crystals. Other layers are recovered using ethanol and ethyl acetate. This method recovers 99% of materials and maintains efficiency over five cycles, promoting a circular economy and reducing environmental impact. Now let's understand what are perovskite solar cells, PSC. A PSC is a type of thin film solar cell that uses perovskite material as the light-absorbing active layer to absorb sunlight and generate electricity through the photovoltaic effect, offering high efficiency and low production costs. Perovskite material refers to any compound that shares the same crystal structure as the mineral perovskite, calcium-titanium oxide. In solar technology, it typically denotes metal halide perovskites which are hybrid organic inorganic materials composed of a metal cation like lead, a halide anion like iodide, and an organic molecule like methylammonium. Perovskite solar cells contain toxic lead, posing significant environmental risks during recycling. Now moving on to India's key solar initiatives. Rooftop solar program is supported by initiatives like Suprabha, Sustainable Partnership for RTS Acceleration and Srishti. Sustainable Rooftop Implementation for Solar Transfiguration of India Aimed at Accelerating RTS Adoption PM Surya Ghar Muft Bijli Yojana PMSGMBU, the world's largest domestic rooftop solar initiative, offers free electricity to households by installing subsidized rooftop solar panels. The Model Solar Village Initiative under PMSGMBY aims to establish one solar-powered village per district promoting energy self-reliance. Pradhan Mantri, Kisan Urja Suraksha Evam Uthan Mahabhyan supports farmers with subsidies for solar pumps and grid-connected plants to promote clean energy in agriculture. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about perovskite solar cell. 1. Perovskite's materials offer excellent light absorption, charge carrier mobilities, which act as the light harvesting active layer. Second, perovskite materials are stable towards humidity and oxygen. Which of the statements given above is our correct? A. 1. Only B. 2. Only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.